breaking news involving another spy balloon, this time being recovered by fishermen off the coast of Alaska, as shown by this map posted by Roz Alerts. Thank you, Roz, for the beautiful infographics here. Uh, they even put a photo of the suspected balloon, uh, similar to the ones that we've seen reported just last week, a year ago, and more even in the past. Uh, Roz Alerts wrote, Commercial fishermen off the coast of Alaska have discovered what officials fear might be another spy balloon, and they're bringing it to shore. Three sources familiar with the matter indicate that, that FBI agents will meet with the fishing vessel upon its weekend arrival in port. The Bureau will then transport the unidentified object to the FBI lab in Quantico, Virginia, for analysis, following the protocol used with previous surveillance balloons. The fishermen shared photographs of the object with law enforcement. Upon encountering it, law enforcement, the FBI, said, yeah, close enough. We're going to come look. We'll meet you. We'll meet you at the port. And uh, CNN originally broke this story here, covering it and pointing out that uh, in January, Taiwan accused Beijing of flying multiple, multiple balloons over its airspace as well. And they talk about this story from Alaska and they say they don't know which vessel it is, but they talk about the images. They talk about their sources, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but uh, largely, a lot of the narrative here is there's nothing to work worry about. Nothing to worry about. Uh, here is uh, Osint Defender on X.com from February 4th, 2023. Uh, they posted another spy balloon, if you recall, the one that was shot down. And we have video of this. This is off of South Carolina. This is uh, Myrtle Beach, if you recall. And poof, this balloon was shot down and recovered and studied. Uh, China came out and said, um, not a spy balloon, don't worry. This is a weather balloon that went off course because those pesky winds, the, you know, the winds, they blow, nobody can explain it, and uh, we're sorry, it's nothing. Nothing to worry about, you know? <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, okay. Do you guys believe that? I don't know. Anyway, uh, here's uh, one Chinese spy balloon's path across North America that we saw, and here's this is according to statistics. Statista, and it flew over Alaska, across Canada, uh, through Montana, down through the states, all the way to the East Coast, with multiple sightings indicated by the gold stars along the red path um, that people saw them and reported sightings of the spy balloon. This is February 4th, 2023. And then we have this story just from six days ago, if you guys recall, the US tracking balloon over the state of Utah one year after Chinese spy balloon shot down as reported here by MSN.com. They wrote that the United States fighter jets intercepted an unidentified balloon over Utah on Friday, but, but, but determined it did not pose a threat to national security. According to the North American Aerospace Defense Command, they write, the balloon, which is traveling eastward with the jet stream at around 43,000 feet, or roughly eight miles, is not maneuverable and poses no hazard to flight safety. According to the command's statement, it is unclear who owns the balloon. And down here it says that Chinese officials insisted that the balloon was only meant to gather weather data and that the reason it went off course was because of erratic winds, and they denied it was spying on people. After the incident, American fighter aircraft began responding to similar situations more quickly, bringing down three similar aircraft over Canada, Alaska, and Lake Huron. Wow, that, that's, a, that's a lot of spy balloons. Um, my goodness, that is quite concerning, I will say. Here's one recovered out of the ocean in the past as well. Good googly moogly, what is going on? What do you guys think about the spy balloon situation that we see unfolding? Um, are you looking forward to what we hear from these fishermen and the analysis of this next spy balloon? Why are we seeing so, so many of these cases now? It's like... As all of a sudden, China is really interested in weather data, and so we see all these spy balloons flying over the country. I, I, I'm skeptical to say the least here. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please subscribe and like and comment. And with that said, everybody, take care.